guys, today is the day I am driving seven hours. Or it depends on how many times I stop, but it's seven to eight hours. And I'm going to Calvary College for Calvary Days to be with my friend, one of my closest friends from high school, Esther. So I'm going to see her today for the first time since like Christmas and we're going to have fun at Calvary's Day and we're going to go to Olive Garden for the first time because she's never been there. I have. I love it. I love this. So, what's called? Salad. I love the salad. I love fettuccine Alfredo. So we're going to go there for the first time, watch a bunch of movies, have a lot of fun, meet a lot of people hopefully and make some friends and I had to take my midterm eventually. So I'll uh, keep you updated, and this should be a long drive, but I think I'll be okay, because I am a fighter. I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, I'm just packing my car right now, uh, taking the few, last few things out there, going to try to eat something. I woke up with kind of a sore throat, but I'm hoping it'll go away. So I don't know if I have any like Jolly Ranchers or anything to suck on, because I don't think I do, but let's see how this day goes. I'm really excited, and I get to meet her fiancé for the first time. So, let's go. See you guys. I'll keep you updated. All right, it's 8.03. Got everything in the house. Not in the house, in the car. And we're heading out soon. <coughs> Stuff, coat, tissues because of my nose. And let's go. Okay, so it's already been an hour and 40 minutes. Um, I'm about to cross into Iowa because they had me go down first and I'm like by Des Moines kind of area So about to cross the river over to Iowa Mississippi. And then I still have like five hours or so to go 360 miles on this road So hazard ahead in one point I'm still on the fastest route. There's the river. Okay, so I'm almost three and a half hours in. So I'm almost halfway. And I, when I get halfway, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and find somewhere to eat some food. It's starting to snow, which is not good because Right now it's not that much, but if it gets more, it's gonna really slow it down. And I wanna get there as soon as possible because <sighs> I don't like driving this long. But I'm okay. Like at first, like the second hour, I'm like, Ugh, I'm getting okay now. I just really had to pee. So that when we get to 11.30 a.m., I'm gonna go to the, find a, either a rest stop or a restaurant to eat at. And I'm gonna eat and go to the bathroom and then continue. I probably won't take that long, but I'm gonna take enough time to like stretch my legs out, you know? So, okay. It's snowing kinda. I'm in Iowa still. Halfway, almost halfway, but it's starting to snow, unfortunately. Still like 119 miles till Kansas City. So I'm so bored. I don't have anything to do and I just love two hours. So I have to pee again. So I'm gonna have to hold that. So I'm charging my phone with a connector cord. I couldn't find a good radio station, so I'm just playing Spotify on my phone, so yeah. I'm trying to get my sister to call me so I'll have something to do, but I'll probably not film again till I actually get there, so. I can't tell you what it really is. I can only tell you what it feels like. And right now, it's a steel mic.
so they know not to tow it. And I spent it over here so I'm tired. Now I'm just gonna put it in my car and then go hang out, maybe talk to people. I'm shy, it's hard. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, dinner's at 5.30 and then there's activities after that, like volleyball and stuff, so we'll do one of those. Okay, so it's Friday night and I forgot to film yesterday night and you haven't met Esther yet, but I've had such an amazing time so far. I feel so connected. I feel like my connection with God. I just, the, the presence is just way more stronger. I feel so much happier. I feel beautiful. I feel amazing. And the community is wonderful. The atmosphere is wonderful. Everyone says hello. No one's on their phones. Like, People are barely on their phones. They're just talking to other people, making good relationships, connecting, <laughs> worshiping, singing songs and praising. And oh my gosh, it's so amazing here. I'm really tired. It's like midnight right now. So technically it's Saturday. So I have two days left. Well, technically less than two because I'm driving home tomorrow after church. My hair looks okay right now. Look at that. I threw it up in a bun. I had a headache earlier. I went to, okay, I'll tell you what I did Friday. I got here at like 3.45 and then I saw Esther after asking where to go and then I came and brought my stuff into the dorm. I don't know if I already said that or not. And then her roommate came in while I was in here. So I met her roommate and then I went back to um, Esther and hung out with her till dinner time which was like 6, 5.30 actually. So I went to dinner, and then after that, there was like a concert kind of there, and then went to, there was two things going on, volleyball and a tournament for a game, like Smash Bros. So I went to the Smash Bros tournament first, made it to the finals in, on the Wii, somehow, it was pure luck, but then I lost, and then I made it to the semifinals on the Switch, and it was really close, but I lost. So then after that, losing, I went to the volleyball and did horrible, but that's okay, it was fun. Came back, talked to Esther till like 12.30 a.m., and then went to bed. Woke up today at um, 7.30, and went to breakfast, and then after breakfast, Okay. Uh, what was after breakfast? I don't remember. Um. Wasn't. Uh, oh, I went to the class. The class thing. The evangelism. At what time would that be? Nine thirty. And then after that, I can't. I can't. I can't even remember what I did today. That's sad. <laughs> after nine thirty. Oh, it went till like 11-ish, so then I met Esther at the cafeteria, yeah, for chapel, and then after that I had lunch, which was the roast beef, I think, and stuff, and then after that, um, we're chilling in the, ca in the cafe area, doing homework, not doing homework, but, and then went to dinner, and then to the play. And then to worship, waffle worship, waffle worship. I just came back. Yeah. I had the most amazing week. I am on my way back now. I went to church with Esther and a couple of her fr friends. I already feel like I'm friends with them. Like they're just amazing people. The atmosphere is amazing. I'll tell you more about what I did the, over the weekend when I get home. I'm sorry I didn't vlog as much. 
it was just one of those atmospheres where no one was on their phone. We were all connected, talking to each other, joining in activities together. It was amazing. I loved it so much and I don't want to go home, but here I am. I got seven hours ahead of me. I added a stop, Panda Express, in two hours, so we'll see how it goes. Um, thank you guys so much for supporting me. I think this trip has really renewed my faith and like boosted my energy and my love for God and I hope to soon include more of that stuff on my channel, more reading the Bible, more singing and worshiping through song because I love worshiping God through song. So I'm gonna uh, either make another channel for that or include it in this channel. I haven't decided which to do yet, but I will be doing that. Thank you so much. I love all of you and I hope you all are blessed with God's love for you. I'll update you later. I don't want to drive and have this going. So thank you so much for being a part of my journey and I love you all. Um, I just passed into Illinois. I'm really tired right now and I still have about an hour and 45 minutes I guess or two hours basically. So I just crossed the Mississippi River. Here we're in Illinois now. Illinois, the stupid land. Uh, the stupid tax, bad state, worst state. Don't live in Illinois, I live in Wisconsin. It's the same state, but better. Anyways, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna make my way home. Super tired, honestly. In two miles, take it. Okay, thanks for interrupting my video. Rock Falls. All right, so yeah. I'll tell a better explanation of what I did later. But I'm really tired. I was trying not to fall asleep. I'm like using cruise the whole time, which I didn't do on the way here because I didn't ha know how to work my dad's cruise on his car. But now I figured it out and I'm using that. So I should be home in, at nine o'clock and it's 721. It would be 621, but we lost an hour, so 721. All right, thanks, guys. Hey, guys. So I never really finished or explained what I did on the Saturday when I was in Calvary. This is like a while later. I'm just editing it now, but on Saturday, I um, woke up and went to like a coffee with Jesus thing with like a group of girls. I think that was at like nine o'clock or sometime around there. We went there, sang a few songs. Um, one of the um, role, female role models, I think was a coach actually or a trainer, told us a little about, um, what did she tell me? Like how relationships you can't like, you can't, you're one person, but you're like holding, like the foundation you hold, you can't like, rely like on that person to, to like complete you you're both your own people and you both you together hold the foundation not like you're not like technically one it's just like you're connected and one through holding each other together or somehow i don't know how to explain it as good as she did but it made sense and it was like a good eye-opener i guess and after that um I think we ate at that. I don't know if we went to the breakfast in the cafeteria. We might have went to the breakfast in the cafeteria. But then we, um, there might have been something like a service or something. Um, I know like me and Esther, Esther and I went to Starbucks because it wouldn't let me on Moodle to do my homework at their college. Like the website I do my college stuff on was blocked at their college for some reason. So we went to Starbucks so I could do my homework. I had to take my midterm for psych, no, sociology, which I did. I found out I got like a 91 on that or something like that. So I like watched the last video, I think, and then I reviewed my notes and I took the midterm. And then after that, um, we went to Olive Garden. It was her first time there. I got the fettuccine alfredo because I always do. And then I got the unlimited salad, salad with it. She got 
the unlimited soup so she had soup and i had salad then she got another soup but i ate her soup and she ate some of the salad it's so good but then i got fettuccine alfredo and i can't remember what she got she said it wasn't bad but she like tasted she loved she said it was really good but she tasted my fettuccine and she's like i'm getting that next time and of course the red sticks are good too so we did that we got the dessert i paid for it because i'm like i want to treat esther for her first time having all i've heard of and then after that um we went home well not home we went back to calvary and then um i think we had like a movie night we were watching like all these disney movies we watched um what's that one it's about like kind of spanish tradition of like the day of the dead where they cross over and i don't remember it's a disney movie i can't remember the title we watched that because neither of us had seen it we watched let it um what's it called we watched that we watched um Frozen, that took me way too long. I think I, I want to say we watched one other movie, but I can't remember what it was. But then we were like singing and I was playing a bit of guitar. And um, I know I tried to play Fortnite when she, Esther was downstairs with her boyfriend. But I think it was blocked on my PC, but I did like a match on my phone or two. And then the next day we went to church. And right after church, I went home, packed all my stuff and headed home. So it was a busy but amazing weekend and I really liked it and I still don't know what I'm gonna do with my future life but you know I'm figuring it out and I'm not stressing well I'm stressing but I'm not trying to stress about it and I'm not worried because I know God will lead me and help me and I'll end up where um it'll be okay you know all right so thanks for watching my trip to Calvary and I love you guys bye Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.